Hi there, it's Kuniko. In today's video, I would like to talk to you how to survive quietly, calmly, with Zen attitude in chaotic situations. So you might know recently uh, there was a huge global IT outage that impacted like a uh, hospital, public transportation, banks, especially airlines, was a very uh, huge uh, panic moment. Especially it was weekend and it, in the summer uh, vacation season. And uh, you might be affected by this um, unfortunate and unexpected event. I was also one of the victims. Um, what happened to me on that weekend, it's um, on Friday, so what the, the day of this uh, outage. My plan was flying to Boston with my husband and our son, dropping off our son to a summer camp. Then on Monday, my husband and I get back home by plane. In the airport was very crowded and chaotic, but we managed to fly with delayed flight, but we were able to get uh, to Boston um, early late evening. But the uh, worst thing was Monday morning, our flight was canceled. So we got to the uh, airport. There are lots of people are kind of like stuck because they couldn't find a flight to go back home or, you know, somewhere. There are lots of queue, long lines everywhere. Long story short, we couldn't get home that day. We could just manage to get Atlanta kind of in the, you know, the halfway to home. But that that's it, and we are stuck in Atlanta. We arrived at 1 a.m., and we couldn't even find a hotel. There is no place to go. So we, uh, we slept at the airport, actually. And there are lots of like, drama around me, and uh, yeah, but I try to stay cool. Have five principles to stay then, you know, like five tips, like always A, B, C, D, E, A, accept that. External situation, external events, it's very out of our control, and uh, we cannot change what happened or what's happening. It's, it's very out of our hands. So we cannot fight against the things we cannot change. So my husband says all the time, when there is no solution, there is no problem. So just accept the, um, you know, the way it is. You know, so the, our case was we had no right to go home. Just accept that, no fighting, no arguing with a, you know, a, airline agent because there is, you know, they cannot do anything. Each person has, you know, its own, his own role, then there is a limit to they can do and there is a limit of what I can do, so I just accept that, accept the situation. Once I accept the, that, just my feeling, my emotion is uh, kind of like quiet because I have nothing to fight against, okay? So it's just for my state of mind, I accept, okay? I say just Okay, I accept that as it is, that's it. Then, but still, my body feel like some uh, tension, right? When it's like stressful or frustrating situation, my body reacts, our body reacts. 
somehow. So to give some uh, comfort to my body, I just try to breathe, deeply breathing, like inhale, like, uh, like five seconds, exhale, like 10 seconds, exhale, exhalation is longer, like, it's like a Pilates. Actually, it's only our body that we can control, but nothing else, right? So any physical movement, it's, on, it's our decision, it's my control. So I control my breathing. Then I say, okay, so now I have my body, I have control, I control my emotion, like I control my body. Emotion affects our my body, body also affects our emotion. So we have to think just the external things we cannot have any control over, so we just focus on body and mind. That's it. So I use this acceptance and breathing, be breathing, to control myself. Once I have this control, I then I can see clearly the world, what's happening, then I can see other people, what's, what they are doing in these situations. Then I see like people like more panicking than me or like more affected emotionally or in the situation harder than me, mine. Then I feel compassion, see, compassion. What's happening is really frustrating for me, but also frustrating to everyone. Even that people I don't know, I just see, but I feel this compassion, this feeling that helps me to stay quiet, to not to make a mess. What I can do to someone else, it's also limited but I try to be at least nice, at least I can smile. I don't want to send bad vibe. Like I just, I want to have a smooth communication with the people that I have to get involved with or just someone seated next to me. Like I just try to be nice. I saw the woman, she had a bad moment. She was literally collapsing on the floor with tears. And uh, yeah, watching that, it's very hard. Uh, she very hard she, her hands are shaky because of this emotion. I tried to give some nice gesture to her, but I didn't know what to do. In that case, what I do, I try to make distance. Distance of this situation, distance of the people, and I try to focus on myself again. Sometimes it's very hard to see people or the, see the situation with compassion. So I need some boundary, some distance, detached from what happened. Then I need distraction for myself. It's also D. To focus on something essential to myself. Something essential such as eating, sleeping, or like something that makes me feel better, like talking with someone or just having contact with friends or my loved ones. I was with my husband, so we tried to get distracted each other with this situation, with our private jokes and, and laughing. You know, it's not maybe appropriate toward people who are suffering, but we suffer too. But 
to show negativity doesn't make the situation better. So I need my distraction detaching from this situation. So in the airport, we have like four hours to sleep or to kill. Uh, we're lucky to find a big uh, like sofa that we, we can completely lie down. And some people stayed in the airport like two days. Lack of sleep affected them, you know, much more than the situation. We need really have uh, something distracting from this situation and go to the essential. It will be ended some one day or some day or you know. So then what I thought while I tried to sleep on the you know sofa, I was I was thinking E is embracing. I try to embrace this experience, this overall experience. I learned so much. I think now I can survive more easily if something similar happens because now I know what to do. I know who I have to talk with or like where I have to go. For example, there is a minute hotel in the airport. You can actually book beforehand on the app. I didn't know the, the time, so it was uh, for me it was too late to book a bed and all. So now I know. I try to embrace this experience and I learn a lot of things. So it's not a great experience to anyone, but now I can tell you you know, what I felt, what I, how I managed. Tomorrow I will see f- friends, then I'm gonna talk, talk to them that what happened with laugh, like, you know, I can laugh at the story to my personal experience. There are lots of people who are really harder time than mine. So it's not a funny story, but at least I can find, um, I can make a laugh, you know, at myself or my experience. This is a kind of like my practice, my survival practice in a chaotic situation, at least when there is no physical damage, right? So to this frustrating situation, it's really upsetting. I don't go to the detail, but like there's like some things like unfair happen a lot in the situation. But I did these five tips A, B, C, D, E. So then now I'm whole and uh, I feel comfortable. And also I'm so proud of that I practiced these tips. Then my schedule was affected and there was no really big impact on our schedule. But emotionally, I feel so stable. Um, I hope you didn't have, you know, the same, you know, the bad experience with this, you know, unfortunate event, but anything can happen in the life. So if you can remember this acceptance, breathing, compassion, detachment, and and the distraction and em- embracing. That's all for today. I have to see you soon in my next video. Ciao.